So what we discovered in the previous video was that the determinant of a matrix gave you the scale factor that if you had a shape and you applied the matrix, applied the linear transformation to it, then the error of the shape would be multiplied by the determinant of your uh, transformation matrix. Okay, so for example, if your shape had area 3 and you applied a matrix that had a determinant of 4, then the area of your new shape would be 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay, so that's the concept. Now, in order to formalize this, the way that we write the determinant of a matrix, so let's say uh, we have a matrix, let's call it, let's call it M. So M is my matrix, a general matrix, A, B, C, D, okay? Then the determinant of the matrix, it can be written in one of two ways. You can either write it as vertical lines being used uh, either side of the matrix. So this is to represent the determinant of that matrix. So you could write that as the determinant of M, like that. Or you could have det M to represent the determinant of the matrix. So there's a, a few different kind of variations of notation here to mean the same thing. But what is clear is that the determinant is multiplying that diagonal, A by D, and then subtracting the other diagonal multiplied, B times C. OK, so an example, if you had a matrix that was 4, 2, 1, minus 3, then the determinant of the matrix A is 4 times negative 3, take away 2 times negative 1. So negative 12, take away 2, and so minus 14. And that would be the determinant of your matrix.